Hi everyone, Arjuna Page today, and this is something uh, quite use your scraps. I have these uh, leftovers, and I just want to play with them. I don't have a concrete idea what I'm going to do, but I am going to play with it. I have here acrylic paint, ice blue. This is Art Deco, and what I first want to do is lay some. Uh, a little bit of color in the back before I'm starting uh, to glue uh, all these pieces and I want to thin it down I'm putting water here and let's see a brush a brush a brush <laughs> uh, I didn't uh, prepare so I have just a plastic uh, thingy here maybe 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 no. I need a piece of acetate or another plastic I think I want some yeah something like that just stains of color and I want it very light that's why I thinned it down most of it is going to get covered just so you know it's more like a uh, giving some color it's a background to the pieces that are going to go on top Just playing with it. And because I'm using this, I have it's giving me straight edges. Now, let's see if I can take only the middle. So I will have less of straight edges and now I think I'll just take a fan brush and do some splattering just to break the look of straight edges okay so I think this is it, maybe a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to let this dry and I'll come back. I'm back, so this is a dry. I've picked a two a text a stamps. A, they are so small you can hardly read what is in it I'm not uh, I don't care I just wanted to add more to the background and again most of it is going to get covered because I'm I want to play with the pieces that will go on top this is only as a backing as framing to the pieces that I'm going to put uh, on top and I'm using distress in ground distress so uh, the the only guideline I have for this page is that I'm going with a brown, a light blue and white or cream or whatever. So that's the only thing uh, that's guiding, guiding me. Uh, all the other stuff is just playing around. I wanted to pick a from underneath the pieces that I'm going to put on the page. I think this is enough. Okay, so starting with the pieces and I think maybe, maybe, maybe 
I'll start here with this. I'm using silicone glue just because I like it and it's a it's <laughs> good <laughs> it's good glue and it's uh, it's tough it's uh, it dries uh, quickly uh, but not quick uh, not too quick so I can still move it and that's basically it uh, silicone glue this is from my cheap store but a brand that I know is the Yuhu glue that comes in tubes. It's also silicone glue. I was told also that uh, Elaine Techy glue, the clear one, is also, and I think that Fab Fabritech is also a uh, silicone uh, glue. So, as I said, I'm playing and I have all kinds of pieces no I thought this will go with the page but it's too yellowish so no uh, because I wanted to add just more another element with a little blue in it but we'll see I think I'm going to use part of this and let's see where is my trimmer here we go mm, let's take a little piece never mind maybe 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 as I said this is playing I want uh, several shades of brown and cream and if I can manage it then some uh, blue to go with this okay here we go and what else do I have in <laughs> maybe These are from a scrapbook paper. This is from a paper bag. I've got all kinds of stuff. It really doesn't matter. Whatever you have, use it. this so let's trim it oops okay yeah I'm going to put this one here or maybe this side now that I'm <laughs> seeing it let's do this side Okay, what else can I uh, put here? This is too much like this one, so I don't want to use it. And I've got this, but this is too prominent and don't like the elements. They don't correspond with the rest of what I've got. Maybe this one. Let's take a little piece and see how it goes. Don't like this trimmer, but that's what I've got for now. Yeah, let's put it here. Okay, something like this, 
and I think I'm going to go and look for other uh, scraps I have in this color and I'll come back. Okay, so I managed to <laughs> find some other stuff uh, to use and I've already uh, cut some pieces that I'm going to glue here. And as I said, this is quite a playing with the placement and the pieces. It's I, I didn't plan it, can't plan it. It's just going with the flow. <laughs> I like to have a repeat of the elements I use so if I have got it here I am repeating it here I think it uh, makes for a more interesting piece and if I have some musical notes here then I will try to repeat it in somewhere else just for the added interest yeah I think I'll put one here here yeah and I really want to repeat this because I have this lovely shade of a grayish blue like here somewhat like here and I really like it so let's see I'm gonna cut a strip out of it and we'll see maybe like this Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah, I like it not sure I'm going to add this it's a little bit has a pinkish hue so let's leave it alone <laughs> and now I want to add some drama to this and let's see if I can do it without ruining what I've done so far I want some black paint here and I think I want to brush it in several places and let's try to be brave about it because it can be awful <laughs> okay so a little bit of paint here a hard bristle brush because I don't want to cover I just want some brushing of black paint in several places don't know why <laughs> just and let's go also here quite intuitive, quite <laughs> playing, <laughs> nothing is planned. Okay.
my recording recording just got cut off don't know why but i hope uh, you didn't miss anything as i said i'm just playing with it it's quite intuitive there is nothing planned here i'm just adding where i think it's needed and that's it so i think i'm done uh, with uh, the black I really wanted a sunflower here and I want it very free, very unplanned. I'm going, I have here some acrylic paint here uh, with a little bit of water to be, to make it more flowish. And now I'm trying to open, I've put this pin in here so it won't get clogged. And now it doesn't want to get out. Okay, uh, is there something else that's going to go wrong <laughs> in this video? <laughs> oh, that's, it's a good thing I'm not doing live streaming. It doesn't want to get out. Don't know what to do with it. Okay, I'm going to find another bottle and I'll be back. I'm back. Let's hope for the best. I managed to <laughs> took the pin to take the pin out of it, and now for the flower I was talking about. I want a very very uh, loose and scratchy, sketchy, whatever. <laughs> I don't want don't know what to call it this is gonna give me trouble ay, ay, ay. should have just gone with some permanent marker and that's it I'm going over, as I said, I want it very, very loose. Okay, so this is quite boring because it doesn't work as I want it to. I'm going to continue trying to make some kind of this to get something out of this and I'll be back and I'm back so I gave up on this the bottle and just use a permanent marker to do the scribbly lines I've got some cream uh, acrylic paint here a uh, color cream and I'm just going to go inside my flower like this. I'm going to use the permanent marker again on top just to make again some scribbly lines. And I'm doing it quite loosely, not uh, trying to be accurate about it. just so my flower will pop on the page and I'm adding a little bit of the uh, ice blue that I have in the back don't know how much of it you can see just trying to make it a little bit more interesting that's it okay so i've got my flower and i'm gonna let it uh, dry before i'm uh, taking a permanent marker uh, to the lines again and i want to stencil a word here i've already got the stencil i've uh, masked 
the other words so they won't interfere I've got the word bloom here and I think I'm gonna place it here I'm taking a makeup sponge and this ice blue and a little bit of the cream just to lighten it lighten it a little bit and start stenciling I'm taking a little bit more of the cream color just to lighten it a little bit more I'm looking for something in between let's see yeah I just want as I said just to lighten it a little bit I don't want it to take the focus of the whole page just to add okay yeah I like it and let's see this is still wet I'm going to let it just a little bit okay permanent marker let's use a thin one tip with a thin one now just adding scribbly lines on purpose they are not straight and yeah this is it and let's do a little bit here on the L just to make it a little bit more yeah okay I like it I'm leaving it as is <laughs> this crap uh, page with all kinds of bits and pieces I really like it thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments below I'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now